let's let's begin hello good evening nice to have you and mr palomo and i'm gonna be in charge of this uh module which is um intermediate module for one so welcome it's nice to have you on this beautiful day here we go welcome okay so hello and welcome this is english intermedio number one yeah so it's nice to have you i wish you the best thank you so much for being here on time hello hello uh, let me see. How many we have just ten already? Okay, have Hello, good evening. evening. Good evening. Nice to have you. Welcome. My pleasure. Okay. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. We're gonna start with this module, which is uh number one on this thing that is called learning English. Okay, we are uh you are in this process, which is pretty much probably good. I really appreciate your effort. Everything you do and this uh, thing that is called learning English is counts. Like the time you spend here, the time you spend on the platform as well, and also the practice you have outside, uh, at, at, let's say in your free time, I right? help, help you a lot. So, good evening. Good evening, nice to have you. Welcome. And it's nice to meet you, by the way. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so welcome, welcome you all. I know that it's hard for you. Instead of resting at home, you are here in class, right? Instead of having some pupusas or watching a soap opera, right? Or watching a movie, you are here, hearing my horrible voice. I'm sorry for you, okay? So welcome, I will do my best so you can uh, practice and learn a little bit of English, okay? So nice to have you on this uh, beautiful day. Which is... Today we have Monday, okay? It's beautiful. The weather is nice. Yes, it's not, it's not raining, which is good. Yeah, I hope it rains later today, but but not right now. It's not raining. Um, so it's as is windy. Okay, it's hot kind of cold, which is good. So welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you on this uh day. Okay, this is English intermediate module module one. Okay, so um, it's nice. To have you, uh, um, and Mr. Palomo, um, we're not gonna be in charge of this module, okay? So, um, thank you so much for being here on this um, beautiful, beautiful day, okay? So the rest of your classes are joining, which is very good. Let me see how many that we have. We have almost 20. So thank you so much for being here, people. Welcome to this intermediate English module number one. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. Welcome on this day, which is Monday. And we are going to start with this module by taking the attendance. Okay. So I will take the attendance. When you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Let's begin with Alvaro Rivera. Alvaro Rivera. No. Okay. Let's carry on with Ana Martinez de Lopez. Ana Martinez de Lopez. No. Um, Cesar Aparicio. Cesar. Present. Present. Thank you, Cesar. Present. Okay. King is Anna. That's me. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. Eh, Tadwin Blanco. Tadwin Blanco. No? Okay. Delmi Amaya. Delmi Amaya. No? Okay. Let's carry on with Efrain Emilio. Efrain Emilio. No? Okay. Um, Stephanie Martinez. 
No, okay. Franklin Magaña. Franklin Magaña. No, okay. Uh, Geraldine. Present teacher. Thank you, Geraldine. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you. Good evening. Uh, Hebel Tobar. Hebel Tobar. She isn't. Okay. Ingrid Flores. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Irma Segura. Present teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Jesus Escobar. No, he isn't. Jose Paquerano. Here I am, teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Juan Madrid. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Catherine Rivera. Catherine. No, she isn't. Kevin Flores. Hello, Kevin. No? Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Um Lucia Cepeda. Present present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to have you. Melvin Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Uh Merin Carranza. No, okay. Um, Milagro de la Paz Jimenez. Here I am, sir. Wonderful, nice to have you. Mirna Landos. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Welcome. Nelson Cerón. <laughs> Patricia Esmeralda Garcia. I'm here. Perfect, Patricia. Welcome. Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Here I am. Good evening. Wonderful. Welcome. Ronald Martinez. Here, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Roxana Diaz. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Sandra Asensio. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome. And Sandra Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to meet you and it's nice to have you one more time, everybody. Voy a revisar el chat así rapidito. Just give me a minute. Tengo Nelson Medina en el chat on soon. Sí. Uh, Medina, right? Nelson. Ahorita Nelson. Just give me a minute. Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Nelson, cero en Medina. Ok. Ahí está. Sí. Si alguien ingresó tarde, o le puedo tomar la asistencia, solo me escribe en el chat. Yes. Que ingreso tarde y con gusto. Yeah, anytime. Let me know. Uh, Delmi, thank you, Delmi. Welcome. Delmi, Delmi. Elizabeth, thank you, Delmi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Um, oh, Tobar, Hebel. Corríjame si pronuncio más su nombre, Hebel. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ya le tomé asistencia. Okay. Primero voy a tomar la asistencia así y luego después que tome la asistencia reviso el chat aquí en Zoom, donde se me puede escribir. Right. Welcome. Voy a hablar un poquito Spanish. I'm sorry for that. Yes, just to be clear with the information that I have for you. It's my pleasure to, meet, to be here with you. It's nice to meet you, everybody. So welcome. Okay, today's, um, as you may see on the screen, we have um, English Intermedio Módulo Number One. Yes. Sí. Uh, luego voy a ir avanzando a little bit y van a ver más inglés. Right? Ahorita solo para que quede claro, este es el módulo donde están, right? Si alguien se ingresó al equivocado, right? Podemos corregirlo, right? So you can do it. Yes, welcome. It's nice to have you. Uh, como les comentaba, I'm Mr. Palomo. Yes, y voy a estar encargado de apoyarles, pues, um, en este módulo. Yes, que tenemos disponible. Very good. Uh, lo de siempre, tenemos las tareas y las evaluaciones, as you may know, ¿sí? O ustedes llaman intermediate number one, entonces ya sabe cuál es la mecánica, pues, de esta compañía, ¿verdad? Right? Inglés corporativo, donde tenemos la plataforma y tenemos, pues, el apoyo aquí en las clases, pues, virtuales. Entonces, uh, recordarles, pues, que tienen que estar avanzando. La primera semana es probablemente la más heavy que tenemos, porque tenemos dos uh, lecciones, ¿verdad? Right? Tenemos dos lecciones en la primera semana, entonces... Tiene que tomar en cuenta, pues, ¿no? que tiene que ir avanzando en la plataforma, en los ejercicios y, pues, um, 
en las asignaciones que se les dan a ellos. ¿verdad? Aquí en clase pues, voy a poner pues, algunos videos que están en la plataforma para pues, que los podamos uh, reforzar y, es, y, y más práctica y uh, podamos aclarar el contenido que está ahí en la plataforma. Igual lo de las tareas, ¿verdad? Uh, y siempre mantener las fechas. ¿sí? Si usted tiene algún inconveniente con la plataforma, no duden con, con solicitar el apoyo en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Hay una persona encargada de eso. Entonces, usted no dude en pedirle apoyo a esa persona si tiene algún inconveniente con la plataforma. Usted sabrá la plataforma en algunos casos, un guión, una mayúscula, un dash, no sé, un punto, right? O una contraction, a veces no le deja avanzar en los ejercicios. Entonces, uh, si en algún dado caso necesita apoyo, pues consulte ahí con sus compañeros también para que le puedan apoyar en el grupo. Acuérdense que aquí todos estamos aprendiendo. Y eso. Entonces, ustedes aprenden, yo aprendo, todos aprendemos. Right? Entonces, uh, la manera de que nos apoyemos todos, that's very good. Yes. Um, tenemos las normas, right, de convivencia. Ustedes las conocen. Son de silencio. Eh, yo tomo la lista de hacia el principio. Si usted ingresa tarde, pues me pone en el chat. Mister, I'm here. I'm sorry, but I'm here. Ok, entonces yo luego interrumpo un ratito y le tomo la asistencia así rápido. Bye. Su nombre completo, como ustedes ven en el grupo de WhatsApp, pues ahí hay, hay una persona encargada y siempre les comenta su nombre completo, este es el Ok, la cámara encendida, por favor, para escuchar sus reacciones. A veces cuento unos chistes bien heavy. Sí, necesito escuchar ahí, ver sus reacciones, ¿vale? Que se rían de los chistes que digo. So, so you can like see your face. Um, el uso correcto del chat, right? Acuérdense que el chat solo cosas relacionadas a, pues, a lo que estamos trabajando, questions, o si usted quiere, pues, sugerir algo ahí de lo que estamos uh, trabajando, algún ejemplo, usted lo puede hacer. El uso correcto del chat. Y, uh, levantar la mano para participar y mantener siempre el respeto, ¿verdad? El respeto a, pues, para tanto como sus compañeros, y cuando estemos aquí en la sala principal, igual cuando vayan a las, eh, eh, los breakout rooms, vamos a hacer varias de esas, entonces sí pedirles el respeto ahí y también a los que dejen la sala principal. Siempre voy a dejar en la sala principal algunos, entonces pedirles el respeto eh, para mantener pues la armonía de la clase. Sí, eh, yo creo que ya todos somos adultos de acá, entonces ya saben que vamos a aprovechar el time. Yes. Um, pues algunos detalles con respecto al curso. Sí, la asistencia usted ya sabe que tiene que ser por este porcentaje, 80%. Los avances en la plataforma, eh, según el calendario que tengo yo, pues el curso es comienza desde el este día 24 y va a finalizar el 18 de agosto. Sí, en el horario asignado que usted ya sabe que es pues, de 8 o 9. ¿sí? Otra vez tenemos que tener la cámara encendida y la duración de 60 minutos la clase. ¿sí? Trate de ingresar virtual te puedes estar completamente durante toda la clase. Otra vez, trabajar los ejercicios de la plataforma para pues, que usted siga avanzando en este proceso. ¿Okay? Um, aquí tenemos lo que les comentaba, lo de la evaluación. La semana 1 es, es la heavy, a little bit, porque tenemos section 1 y section 2. Luego en la semana 2 tenemos la section 2 y hay un midterm. Luego en la section 3 tenemos la section 4 y un 50% of the section number 5. ¿Okay? Luego en la section number 5 pues tenemos um, esto. Entonces, aquí normalmente vamos a ir viendo estas secciones en las semanas. Entonces, se va a ir avanzando, pues, uh, según lo que se le vaya pidiendo. Right. Entonces, uh, tomar en cuenta, pues, esos detalles. Yes. Right. Luego, this is in English, right? We we'll get back to English. We have, again, cameras on, the microphone off. Uh, try to, um, let's say, I don't know, Raise your hand when you want to speak, or want to participate. Avoid distractions. So focus on this class as much as possible so you can be like paying attention on this one and try to use English as much as possible. Right? Sometimes um, I speak a lot of English and, and that is like, sometimes I forget that. But in the case of you don't algo, right? Uh, just let me know. Let me know so I can, like, we can repeat or somebody else can explain to you. Um, what is on, what is happening with the content or, or with the material that we are studying. We're going to watch this video first, okay? So you can um, motivate yourself, and then we will start with the content for today. Let's listen and watch it.
Fridays for Beginners. I am, you are, he, she, it is. I am, you are, he, she, it is. Robert, I am. Hi. Can you show me the way to the beach? Towel. Breakfast. Fork. Knife. Bread. I love you. You are perfect. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I love you. You are perfect. I thank you. Suitcase, slippers, toothbrush, passport, pyjamas, be good dog. Hi, I am. Hi, I am. So um, that was the video, right? So uh, and the first bit with this one is like to motivate you, right? But I get a case a propósito. Yo les comentaba at the beginning, ah, uh, el esfuerzo que hacen ustedes para estar acá, yes, it's very huge, es grande el esfuerzo que hacen. Entonces sí los felicito, right? Y los motivo a continuar um, dando lo mejor de ustedes, aprovechando cualquier tiempo. Practique con su familia, practique con sus hijos. Ande molestándolos, dígales, you are my son, you are my father, you are my husband, you are... Todo lo que les sirva para aprender inglés, uh, right? So you can learn. ¿Sí? Uh, que se le quite el miedo, no importa que nos critiquen, no, it doesn't matter. Que nos critiquen en nuestro acento, en nuestra pronunciación, don't worry. Usted tiene un objetivo que es aprender inglés, right? Y entonces usted lo puede lograr, y es con esfuerzo, con práctica, Y, y sin miedo al éxito, right? Como dice la phrase. Yes, so don't be like that. Okay? Entonces, aquí en esta clase todos vamos a aprender um, a eso. Right? Entonces, voy a trabajar bastante con esa cosa de speaking. Y, y I hope that, that you can... Um, that you can... Um, let's say you improve, improve your... Stephanie Martínez. Ahorita Stephanie, solo de mi... Déjeme encontrar. Stephanie. Oh, ahí ya la encontré. Okay, Stephanie, welcome. Nice to have you. And this beautiful day. Which is Monday. Okay. Here we go. What are we going to do today? What's easy? It's okay. Vamos a empezar con esta hermosa cosa que es past tense. So we're going to work with past tense of today's class. Okay. Um, let me show you. Give me a minute. Okay, who is who is this person? Do you know who who's this person or like who was this person? Yes. Oh yes. Can you tell me, please, Patricia? Thank you so much. Uh, Michael Jackson. Do you know something else about him? Yes, he was a singer, a famous singer. Um, I don't know. He was very famous. Um, it's um, uh, people. It's um, uh, 
black people i, I don't know how to say that <laughs> yeah. african american african american well, well, at the end, he wasn't <laughs> black. Oh, yeah. yeah like, because he was, like, I think right. he was sick with something. He was sick with something, I guess. Yeah, yes. but if you say that in New York, be careful. When they stay in New York, don't say that, okay? Don't say that that color, okay? Just yeah, that. yes, I know. What is the, the polite form to say it? Uh, oh, black African-American. African-American. Yes. African-American. Oh, so he was African-American. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, right. Uh, do you like his music? Yes, a lot. Do you know when, like, what's one of your favorite? Your, when of, what is your Maybe favorite song from this guy? Beat It, Beat it is oh, one no. of my favorite songs of him. Uh, I don't know, there, there, are, there are a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, he was like Billy, crazy. Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Oh, Billy Jean is another one. Okay. Yes. But what about you, Juan Madrid? Do you know any kind of uh, song from this guy. Uh, Sorry. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, I don't like uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, why? Tell me why, please. I don't know. Uh, 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 my my. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, the music. Uh, I don't 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 like. Uh, what is your favorite it's, music? Oh, lost my religion. Lost my religion. Is 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 the my favorite uh, song. Oh, okay. And what what is that? What is what is that about? Um. Um. Uh, it is a song. A uh, uh, speak. Uh, uh, is is same a. Uh, the same uh, song with a uh, zombie, and um, um, is it is it the uh, is it the the tip um uh, is is the topic uh, the music uh, is um more uh protest and. Uh, Rebel. It's, it's only. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. That's very nice. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to use with past tense a little bit of verb to be and other verbs. Okay. So it's, it's a combination of this one. So um, I will recommend for this for this module to, to get along with the verbs because uh, we're going to use a lot of verbs in this module. And I'm sorry, como dice Miss Nurka Marcos, right? I'm sorry for you. But um, vamos a quedar like sick con esos verbs. We're going to get sick with a bunch of verbs in this module. So uh, I'm sorry for you. And I hope and I hope you, you enjoy this one. Okay, we're going to start with a conversation. Tome la captura de la conversation, please. Ahorita la vamos a escuchar three times. Y luego we're going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms, okay? So... Let's listen and read. Where did you learn to skateboard? Part A. Listen and practice. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Hey, I like your shirt. Are you from Argentina? Yes, I am. Originally, I was born there. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here 10 years ago, when I was in middle school. And where did you learn to skateboard? Here, in the park. I only started about a month ago. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure, just follow me. By the way, my name is Isabel. And I'm Nico. Nice to meet you. Where did you learn to skateboard? Part A. Listen and practice. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Hey, I like your shirt. Are you from Argentina? Yes, I am. Originally, I was born there. 
Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here ten years ago when I was in middle school. And where did you learn to skateboard? Here in the park. I only started about a month ago. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Isabel. And I'm Nico. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's begin with this one question.、Uh, Milagro de la Paz. Good evening. Nice to have you. And nice to meet you. Good evening. Question、sure. for you. Do, do these, guys, these people know each other? Do they know each other? No, they don't. Exactly right. They don't know each other. Okay.、Um, we're going to work with this conversation. We have those breaker rooms so you can practice about Isabel and Nico. Because we have that seven minutes.、Sure. So,、um, again, if, if you have the time to, like, if you practice one time and then you, have, you still have time, so you, what, what I want you to do is just switch roles, right? And do it again. Yes. So take, take a screenshot of this one. Okay. So I'm going to capture out this conversation、uh, because I'm going to like、um, open the break and roll. So, so just give me, give me some time. Yes. Thank you. And, and if somebody can send this picture on, on the WhatsApp group, that would be good. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Break our rooms here. Eh, Todos pueden encender el mic. Yes, all of you got a, a really good mic. Yes? Yes, sir.、Uh, okay, perfect. Hello.、Okay. If you have a problem with your mic, let me know. Okay, so you don't get like.、Um... Can you hear me, teacher? Oh, nice and clear, Camilo. Okay, okay. Perfect.、Thanks. My okay, pleasure.、Thanks. Okay, me too. See,、so, yeah, I got seven minutes already. Okay. En la sala principal, en el main breaker room, se va a quedar la、uh, Hebel Virginia, Hebel Virginia, Juan David Madrid, en Mirna Janet. Se quedan en la sala principal y los demás aceptan la invitación. Yes. Got it. Perfect.、Okay. Let's begin. Please join your breaker room so you can practice this conversation. Elsa, you need to join. Tell me. Ana, Beatriz, Martinez, Emilio, Irma, please join. Hi, guys. Irma, Adriana, Segura, please. Y Ana, Beatriz, Martinez, please. Necesito que ingrese con su partner so you can practice. Cesar, Alejandro, also. Tell me. Okay, so this is time for you to,、uh, Juan and, and, and Javier, please. This is time for you so you can practice, okay? Okay. Perfect. Hi, Juan David. Hello. Okay.、Uh... Oh, you have、um, more than a year not working? You are not working? Is that right? In this time, not working.、Oh. I work in,、uh, in Unicomer 
three years ago. Really? Yes. Wow. But in this time, no, no work. You're, yeah. You're not employed now. You, yeah. know, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn English, you know, uh, to get grow with my English because I want, I'm looking for a job like in a call center. Okay. That's my goal right now. But I, right now I work, I'm a shoemaker. I got, yes. uh, I got out. You know what shoemaker? Well, the machine. No, hands. I hands work. Um, I'm a shoemaker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I make shoes. I got a shoe shop work. Mm -hmm. You understand? The shoes. Yeah, tengo taller de calzado. Okay, make the shoes. We make shoes. Yeah, I got a shoe shop work. Okay. But, but right now, Yo creo que hay que volver a, a comenzar. Espérate, mira. Ok. Marte, again. <laughs> ok. Oh, I'm... I'm fine. But I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. I like your shirt. Are you from Argentina? Eh, vi la public... Bueno, mi cuñado me la mandó, entonces... Aproveché a, a escribirme. Por fortuna me escribí. Ah, ok. Es el teacher. ¿Cómo estás haciendo con la práctica? ¿Todo bien? Sí, todo bien. ¿Lo hiciste ya una vez? Una vez. Sí, una vez. Oh, necesito cambiar de lugar para que puedas practicar un poco más si tienes la oportunidad. Ok. Perfecto. Ok. Chat in the chat. Wait, es que lo estoy usando por mi, por el, eh, no lo, por el celular. Ah, okay. Oh, all right. Wait, oh. wait. Okay, I got it right now. Okay, I am okay. Isabel. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I let's am see. really sorry. Are you okay? I'm. I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Neither I am. Hello, you're here. Are you from Argentina? Yes, I am originally. I was born there. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here 10 years ago when I was middle school. Um, Where did you learn to skateboard? Here in the park. I only started about a month ago. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lesson? Sure, just follow me. By the way, my name is Sandra. And I am Camilo. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Camilo. Okay. <laughs> And now switch switch roles, please. Please, thank you. <laughs> okay, we have to repeat it again. Oh yes, but we switch roles, please. Thank you. Now, now you begin, Camilo. You begin. Okay. Oh, I am really sorry. Are you okay? Okay. And Isabel? Yo. Okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I am not very good at this. Neither am I. Hey, I... Hey, I like you, your shirt. Are you from Argentina? Yes, I am originally. I was born there. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did, but my family moved her tender age when I was in middle school. 
And where did you learn to skateboard? Here in the park, I only saw about a month age. Or... What? Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Isabel. I am Nico. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. At, at the end, you could you could change your names, like the names, the names that we have there. You could change for for your name. That would be. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, lessons, and we have month ago. Month ago. Thank you so much. Um, that was very good. Uh, well, as you may see, this is a part of the past tense. We're gonna work with the past. Okay, so um, a little by little, we're gonna get introduced. A little bit more of practice on this one. Okay, so uh, let's take a look of uh, the rest of the conversation so we can have an extra information about this too. Okay. Where did you learn? So I have these questions, right? Uh, which is the first one. What are two more things you learned about Isabel? So in the audio, I'm going to play it again. We have the same conversation, but we're going to add two more things about this girl. Yes. So I need you to focus on this one. Okay, what are two more things you learn about Isabel from the album? So let's listen and then be ready. Page two, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are two more things you learn about Isabel? Hey, that was fun. Thanks for the lesson. No problem. So, tell me a little about yourself. What do you do? I work in a hospital. Really? What do you do there? I'm in charge of their computers. Oh, so you're a computer specialist. Well, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. That's great. Then maybe you can give me some help with a computer course I'm taking. Oh, sure. But only if you promise to give me some more skateboarding lessons. It's a deal. Thank you so much. Sorry. Okay, Anna Beatriz, no problem. Thank you so much for letting me know. One more time, the audio? Yes? Yeah. One okay. more time, yes. please. Yes. Sure. Here we go. Page two, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are two more things you learn about Isabel? Hey, that was fun. Thanks for the lesson. No problem. So, tell me a little about yourself. What do you do? I work in a hospital. Really? What do you do there? I'm in charge of their computers. Oh, so you're a computer specialist. Well, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. That's great. Then maybe you can give me some help with a computer course I'm taking. Oh, sure. But only if you promise to give me some more skateboarding lessons. It's a deal. Okay. You got it? Or one more time? I got it. One more time. Sure. Just one more time. Just one more time, okay? One more time, please. Perfect. Thank you so much. Page two. Exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are two more things you learn about Isabel? Hey, that was fun. Thanks for the lesson. No problem. So tell me a little about yourself. What do you do? I work in a hospital. Really? What do you do there? I'm in charge of their computers. Oh, so you're a computer specialist. Well, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. That's great. Then maybe you can give me some help with a computer course I'm taking. Oh, sure. But only if you promise to give me some more skateboarding lessons. It's a deal. Thank you, Geraldina. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Geraldine, I'm sorry, Geraldine, that's your name, I apologize. Geraldine, 
Yes, sir. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Do you hear me nice and clear? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, perfect. Can you tell me two more things about Isabel, please? Thank you. Isabel is working in a hospital and oh. she is a computer specialist. Very good, right? Yes, very good. Yes. ¿Se fijó cómo lo hizo Geraldine? ¿Se acuerdan aquella little thing at the beginning of the modules? El verb to be. That beautiful thing that I love it, that I love, which is verb to be, is here, right? She's a computer specialist, yeah. right? It yeah. looks very simple, but it's there. A tiny thing that is called verb to be is there, annoying you every single day. Don't forget that. Verb to be is pan dulce with coffee every single day, okay? <laughs> So don't forget that. Thank you so much. That was very good, Geraldine. Perfect. Thank you. Page two. We're going to work with these verbs. We have write the past tense of these verbs. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's begin, Roxana. Read the verbs first, please. Read the verbs. Thank you. Became, become. Yes, carry on. Continue. No, I mean, read the verbs. Just read the verbs, please. Okay. Uh, be, become, do, email, get, have, hide, laugh, lose, move, open, scream. Thank you so much. Now tell me, Roxana, which ones are regular verbs? Uh, and became, become, became. But that's regular or irregular verb? Oh, uh, irregular verbs. Oh, yes. Now please tell me the regulars, the regular verbs. Uh, the regular verbs um have oh, no I mean the one that we have here the regular verbs that we have here okay become became okay but that is regular or <laughs> you don't get it I don't understand okay okay in this list of verbs we have regular and irregular verbs yes now tell me which verbs are Regular verbs. Okay. Uh, regular verbs, it's have. Oh, th this one? Yes. Okay. What is the past tense of this verb? Have. 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 Has. Oh, Rosanna, what is the past have. tense of have, Rosanna? The past tense, have. Had, very good. Okay. okay. This verb is regular or irregular, Rosanna? This is irregular. Irregular. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you, Melvin. That's very good. Yes, Rosanna. This is irregular. Okay. Yes. Okay. Irregular. Ahorita, Melvin, can you help her, please? Tell me which verbs are regular verbs, Melvin. Uh, move is irregular. Oh, let me see. Move here. Okay. What is the spelling of move? Can you spell it, please? M O V E D B D. D. Thank you. What else? Yeah, maybe. Open. Okay, can you spell it? Open please? is yeah. O P E N D. E E D. E D. E D. E D. Oh, okay. Melvin? E D? E D. I'm sorry. E D. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What else? Do we have another one? Uh, yeah. Let me check. Yeah. Lose. Oh, no. lose. Okay. What is the past tense of lose, Jose Alejandro? Lose. Lo, lo, uh, yeah. Can you spell it, Jose? L O S E D. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Continent. Mm -hmm. pa Patricia. Uh, uh, yes. Email. Patricia. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we are regular. Patricia here. Oh, Patricia Castellanos, thank you. Okay, email. Okay, can you spell it, please? Thank you. Uh, e M A I L E D. Okay, thank you. Do we have another uh, regular bird here? Ana A Beatriz Martinez? Oh, sorry. Ana Beatriz Martinez, do we have another regular bird here? Ana Beatriz Martinez, hello. Hi, hi. Lost noise is irregular. L O S T. 
Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Sí, es que cuando Los... por eso le decía, levántame la manito así rapidito so I can, okay. so I can get because oh, Ana Beatriz, I'm sorry. Continue, continue. Okay, loss is irregular. Oh, oh, so what is the spelling of loss? Please, tell me. L-O-S-T. L-O-S-T. Is this the correct one? Yes. Ana? Okay. Do we have another? Yes. A regular, regular verbs. So, este me dijo que era no, right? No. Okay. Yeah, it's not okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do we have another regular verb in this list? Yes. What is that, please? Tell me. I'm not sure if love. Okay, can you spell it, please? Thank you. Oh. No, wait a minute. I, I don't remember. Oh, no, just... Just yes, spill, it it out. spill it out. You know what I mean? You say it and then we check if that is correct. No, pro no problem. Mm -hmm. okay. So what is the spelling? L-A-U-J-H-E-D? Uh, no? E-H-E-D. -E like this one, right? Yeah. La. La. Okay. Yeah. Do we have another one? Yes. Oh, please, Patricia Castellanos, tell me. Oh, yes, cream. Oh, yes. What's, this, what's the spelling of this verb, please? Thank you. Tell me. S-C-R-E-A-M-E-D. Okay, very good. Yes, do we have another one? I think no. Mm, um, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, the rest of them, the rest of them are... Um, Irregular verbs. Entonces, Roxana, ¿cómo sabemos que es un regular verb? Porque lleva una rule like this one. Ok, mira. ED, 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 ED. This one is not regular because no rule, right? No ED at the end. Based on that, that means it's irregular verb. Ok. Irregular mm -hmm. verbs in English are like a headache because those things like they don't follow rules, right? Um, uh, no spelling, right? And also pronunciation changes a little bit. Oh, Sarai. That's okay, no problem. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so we have become. What is the past tense of become? Thank you. Became. Okay, thank you. The past tense of do? Did. Did. Okay, no, it's not this. Thank you. Uh, what about get? Got, got. Okay, you have got. And what about hide? Hidden. Excuse me? Hidden. 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 So these are irregular verbs, and we have regular verbs as well in English, as you may know. We use them both when we speak. Like, uh, we need to be careful uh, when we use them pretty much. Yeah, we need to be careful with the spelling and also with pronunciation when we use them. Okay. Uh, when it comes when it comes to communicate, uh, this thing. this is about the past. When do we, we have... use the past tense? Uh, sure. Let me check. Excuse me, Anna? When you tell uh, pretty much, how do you, uh, what do you want to say? Or what is the meaning of pretty much? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, pretty yes, much yes. is like, oh, how do you say yeah, Oh, let me, let me check. Oh. Um, muy show, muy. Um, yeah, that, but it's that, like. That emphasis. Well, I use that thing when it, when I, I want to emphasize the main okay. thing of, of something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when I want to emphasize the main idea of something, okay? Or when I want to like sum, sum it up, everything, okay? So, or when I want when to say, oh, the important, important thing is this, right? Instead of saying the important, I can say, oh, pretty much this is the thing that we have for regulars and irregular, okay? Oh, pretty much that's all for today. Um, um, this is the thing that, yep. So it's like, 
I use it when we want to when I want to like sum it up everything and make it simple. You know what I mean? Just to let you know, oh, it's it's not a big deal, right? Pretty much is is this, right? Yep. Like I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry if, if 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 I wasn't clear on that one, but I use it like just to just to make it simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the end, instead of saying like, um, I don't know. Like pretty much is like informal way of saying yes to sum it up or uh, like to say like, oh, the main objective of this okay, or just to make things like simple to say phrases like very like simple. Okay, that's that's the way I use it. Okay, um, so I'm sorry for that. Okay, any question about this? Because I have one for Camilo Rivera. Camilo, when do we use this past tense? Uh, hello, you repeat oh, the game, please. Oh, welcome. When do we use this past tense, please tell me? When we try to explain something that already happened. Oh, yes, pretty much, right? Like, la canción José José, José, right? Pasado, pasado. Everything is in yeah. the past. Yes, pretty when, much. When everything time. is on the past, yeah. Exactly. Everything is like past, it's done already. Now, when, when, uh -huh. when you tell a story of something that already happens, Exactly. It's going to be in a story right now. Exactly. Exactly. We're going to have this short video that is on the platform, so you can have it. Right. I'm going to play it here, so you can like recheck video one more time um, about this content. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs, such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there uh, that's the one that I had given earlier I moved here 10 years ago and we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then finally what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past either with the verb to be as you can see is slightly different and also using the auxiliary did let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write down the formula real fast in order for us to make sentences in the past particularly positive sentences in the past we're going to have a subject and then that is going to be followed by a verb the verb in its past form and then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. Let me go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year 
and then once again what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom I want you to notice that we have a subject and I color that in green and then we have some sort of verb and then that is going to be colored in red and then the complement um, as you can see English classes for a year let me talk about making negative statements in the past now I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula the only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary that auxiliary is didn't um, so um, I and then this follows didn't okay and then this follows the verb and then whatever a compliment I didn't speak English and I'm gonna say 10 years ago so we have a subject I'm gonna go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit this follows didn't and then it's gonna follow the verb now important here I want you to notice that in this case this verb does not change to the past okay so the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense it will not change to the past that's very important and that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past I didn't speak English 10 years ago the last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past and particularly we're going to focus on forming questions using did let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there when did you move to Los Angeles well first of all in order to form questions sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions and I'll explain the quick difference in a second whenever we have a WH question I'm going to start with that first one there what we do is we have a WH word such as in this case is when this follows the auxiliary did this will follow a subject and this follows the verb in the present the verb does not change to the past when did you move to Los Angeles so again very important we're gonna have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did and then it's gonna follow the subject after that you'll see the verb in its present form it does not change to the past and finally we'll include some sort of complement and we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there with the only difference now is that we don't have a WH word and that's because this is a yes or no question so the yes or no question starts with did you and the verb in its present form take the complement is English classes in Argentina there you go okay it all depends on what kind of question you have so WH words we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person in a yes or no question we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no so the example on how to answer a yes or no question then you'll see it there yes I did or no I didn't that's how you create a short response for that kind of question The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions which I will post in one moment but before that what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be so whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be then we're gonna think about the structure towards the right it's important not to get confused and so therefore I would like for you to answer the following questions as you can see sometimes I will use did and sometimes I will use the verb to be and the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be so that's what I want you to notice People, I'm sorry, it's time to go to bed. We will continue working with this simple past tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Have a nice day. Good night, everybody. Good night. Catherine. Hola. Eh, sí, es que fíjense que creo que conmigo ha habido un error porque yo mandé mi horario de 9 a 10 y entonces yo estaba esperando que se me dieran las 9 para conectarme, ¿verdad? Entonces me conecto y veo que ya van a la final de la clase y yo me quedé como que, ¿qué es? Y así mi horario es de 9 a 10. Y sí. le, le escribo al encargado porque me han puesto de 8 a 9. I'm sorry, ok, I'm sorry, ok. Eh, espero que le solucionen el inconveniente, Catherine, ok. I'm sorry. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.